What's up guys, this is Jay with Bearded Dad Fishing and today we're talking about the Johnny Bass 100. So my friends over at Feel Free Kayak sent this bad boy over. So over the next couple months, we're gonna do a series on this kayak, take it out on the water, do some stability testing. But today we're doing an overview of this kayak and all the features and specifications of this thing and why I think this is the best, most affordable and efficient way to get on the water in a motorized kayak. So I have right over here, the trolling motor kit from Johnny Bass. So we're gonna get that on there and then we'll walk through it. But before we do, that joke of the day, where do boats go when they're sick? To the dock. That dad joke is brought to you by Aaron Amador of the Facebook group, Kayak Fishing Dads. So if you're not part of the Facebook group, jump on over there and look us up kayak fishing dads and join the conversation so let's get into this boat the johnny bass 100 so it's made by feel free kayaks and they got four different brands of kayaks under their belt so they're no stranger to the game they make some great fishing kayaks so they got feel free johnny bass they've got sea stream and three waters and this boat in particular is the only one in the johnny boats uh, lineup uh, so this is the bass 100 it is 10 feet long 35 and a half inches wide it weighs 77 pounds so it's not crazy heavy not really light just kind of in the middle there and it has a, a weight capacity of 400 pounds so that 400 pounds will include yourself your gear motor battery etc and uh, for being a 10 foot boat the stability is pretty good i mean for 400 pound weight capacity usually you're uh, in boats upwards of 11 feet long. So for a 10 foot boat, that's pretty good. And a lot of that is attributed to the width being almost 36 inches wide. It's a pretty wide boat. And another reason uh, it can have such a good weight capacity is this trimaran hull design. So that really makes it a nice stable platform when you're out there on the water. Uh, no points for speed though, but definitely points for stability. So we're gonna go over the features of this boat from front to back to give you a little bit of a layout of where everything's at. So right in the front, you have a molded in carrying handle. You have four additional other handles as well. You have two on either side of the seat as well as two on the rear. So plenty of options for tie downs. And if you got a buddy helping you carry this kayak, perfect for that. Also you have right behind that carrying handle, additional storage space in the front hatch. So again, for a 10 foot boat, it's nice that it has so much storage. So you can put extra batteries, extra tackle, whatever you're gonna take with you. And on both sides of that hatch, you also have horizontal rod storage. Again, this is not something that's found on most kayaks, let alone a 10 foot kayak. So on both sides, you can store about two rods. So you're talking about four rods right on the side of you, plus whatever you're taking with you on the crate. And uh, you're talking about maybe a total of 10 rods you can take with you on this small boat, which is amazing. And just behind the front storage area, you have either your pod or your trolling motor. So the base model of this boat comes with a huge storage pod, which is perfect for keeping anything that you want to keep dry, a rain jacket, some food, some snacks, uh, your wallet, etc. But if you upgrade, you can get the trolling motor kit. Now there's two trolling motor kits available currently. So you have the non-steerable version, which is just under $500. And you have the steerable version, which is $600. Now the difference is you get obviously the steering handle on the steerable one. So it comes with this eight ball steering handle and it's connected to the kit. So you don't need the rudder. However, if you're getting the non-steerable version, you're gonna want to install the rudder kit that Johnny Boat sells. And you can see it has the terminals for the battery and plenty of space on the inside uh, to connect your battery and anything else that you want to store comes with a kill switch and the controls are right on the top so you have your power switch and you have your speed control so you have forward you have about five levels forward and you have the same in reverse and these are held down with these side latches just as so so the great thing about the trolling kit options is that you can get the boat with just the pod and then later on you can upgrade to the trolling motor so you don't have to get it all at once now moving back from the trolling pod you have uh, foot pads that are adjustable so as you just twist this little knob and they go down up wherever you need them to go you have a cup holder 
right in front. You have a stand-up strap and some nice foam deck pads uh, under your feet. And then we have the chair as well, which we'll go over in a little bit. I just want to cover the rear of the boat first. We have this huge open deck space, perfect for your Black Pack Pro, your Flambeau Crate, or your own tackle box that you made. So you have plenty of space in here uh, for anything you want to throw. Again, having a 10 foot boat with so much space is uh, a feat of its own. So you can bring all your gear with you. Uh, it also comes with bungees so that you can secure down your crate, your cooler, and everything else that you throw back here. And in the rear of the tank well, you have a hole access point. So you can just twist this off to access the inside of the hole. So if you're doing any wiring or if you're attaching, if you're installing a yak power relay switch, that's perfect to run your wires and get everything settled on the inside. And on either side of that, you have two flush mounted rod holders. And I really like the fact that they come with leashes so you can leash down your rods. And something I didn't mention was that on either side of the rear tank well, and as, as well as the front of the boat, you have these huge tracks that Johnny Boats put on here. So you have almost two feet on either side of uh, the proprietary unit track rails. And that's a ton of customization that you can add to this. So you can put your fish finder, you can put uh, uh, your rod holders, cup holders, etc. One thing to note about these unit track uh, rails is that they're not compatible with Yak Attack unless you buy the adapter. So make sure you get the adapter if you have Yak Attack gear that you want to put on here because they're not the same tracks that come on the other boats. But on the rear, you also have about 14 inches of additional track space. So that's perfect for a boomstick, for your GoPro, or your 360 lights. Now, one thing I want to really mention in the back of the boat here is the fact that this is probably the most unique feature of this kayak right here is that it can take a gas powered motor. So it comes ready out of the box for a motor. All you have to do is add the transom plate and you can see those screws to add that transom plate and you're ready to go. It's rated for up to two and a half horsepower gas motor. Again, that is a super unique feature. Very few kayaks have the ability to have a gas motor and this one comes prepped for it. So again, two and a half horsepower gas motor or three horsepower electric outboard such as a torpedo motor but it comes ready you just have to buy the transom kit and on the back you'll also see right below that it has the inserts ready for the rudder kit if you want to add that later on an accessory i want to point out is the johnny trolley cart so this actually goes right underneath the hull there's a spot that holds it in place so if, you, if i were to lift it you'll see that it can come right out but it has a notch in there that holds it down that makes this a lot easier to carry around. Now let's talk about the chair, which is, I, want, I left this for the last because it is one of my favorite parts of this kayak. As being a big dude, I'm wide. This is one of the most comfortable chairs I've sat in on a kayak. So it's a wide seat, it has lumbar support, but one of the coolest things is that it is adjustable. So this is sitting in the high position. And if you move it back a couple inches, now you're sitting in the low position. If that's something you want to do, it keeps you closer to the water. Uh, however, I probably won't be using that because it just extends out your legs and it's almost like you're sitting flat. But one of my favorite parts is that not only can you sit it in the high, in the high position, you can move it forward and now you're changing your entire position on the boat and you're sitting more towards the middle of the boat versus the rear. Now you have almost a whole second tank well. You can bring on some extra batteries. You can bring a cooler, whatever it is. It really opens up the realm of possibility of what you could take with you on the water. So that's all the features on this boat from front to back and back to front. So tons of features for a 10 foot boat. Most of these features aren't even found on a 12 foot boat, which is really incredible. But I saved the best part for last and that is the price. So when I said this is the most affordable way to get on the water with a motorized kayak, I meant it. So starting in the base price for this with the pod with no trolling motor, is $999. Now, if you, when you add the pod, the trolling motor, you have two options. You have the non-steerable one, which is just under $500, and you have the steerable version, which is $600. So for $1,500, you could be on the water with a fully rigged motorized kayak, which is an amazing price, because uh, most of these can go up to three and $4,000 
easily. And like I said earlier, I'll be doing a series on this kayak, so we'll be getting it out in the water, we'll be running some stability tests, and we're gonna slime it up with some fish. So I'm excited to do that. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this boat, and if you have it, let me know what you like about it. So I'm excited to get out there, excited to fish, and stay tuned. Till next time, guys, peace and God bless.